what's up youtube it's curlisa victoria i'm back with another video if you guys are new to my channel thanks for tuning in if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back so in this video we're just going to be talking about like where i'm at and what i'm doing with my life right now um so pretty much your girl just literally made a video about her weigh-in and period and food so if you didn't catch that video go check it out it'll be in the description box below so go ahead and click that video but in the process of doing all that make sure you guys smash the subscribe button and thank you so much if you're new to, to the channel and if you've been coming back thank you thank you thank you so yeah i pretty much have errands to run today but i just want to make this quick little video to talk to you guys about what my plans are for the rest of the year i started to make a video um and i thought it just went a little bit too long and i wasn't super impressed by the lighting so your girl wasn't with it so i wanted to let you guys know what i'm going to be planning for the rest of the year not necessarily what my plans are like oh i'm going here i'm doing this but like what the goal is so we are in august the august 16th to be exact um we literally have a few months until the, the end of the year so we like have pretty much if you don't count august we have about three months left of the year so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be spending this these three and a half months focused on weight loss because you guys know that weight loss is like at the top of the food chart for me right now it's at the top of the list so y'all keep hearing me make videos about weight loss and stuff like that sis it's because i'm trying to lose weight and i have been doing so at a very healthy pace and i'm super excited um you guys know i've always been in the 120s 130s that's always been my comfortable weight that's always been like the weights in which i have been um and long story short two and a half years ago i went plant-based then transitioned to vegan and instead of losing weight your girl gained 50 plus pounds period that's story from beginning to end and period uh and period and plus I think that honestly the weight gain was from just a lack of meat dairy I mean you start to gravitate to carbs and things that might not necessarily be bad for you but not good for you on the scale so you know refined sugars carbs you're kind of looking for it you eat a salad and you don't know how to balance out the rest of your day now you're going to go look for some juicy vegan burger all the time or you're going to go look for some potatoes and the potatoes they, they they show up on the scale sis the potatoes show up on the scale so when i would step on the scale i start feeling like a potato and i was like no so eventually it got to a point where i was on my period and i got to 180 pounds and i was like and i know though that 180 probably came from the bloat from the period but it still was unacceptable when i seen that 180 on the scale so your girl went on a journey to get back to the 120s. <laughs> Why do I cry? My myself up so much? I gotta be serious. Okay, be serious. No more laughing. Cut it out. I'm back. <clears throat> I'm gonna be serious. So. I went on a journey from 180 to the 120s and yeah right now I have gone from 180 to 156.8 so I literally literally have been on a journey so that's like you know roughly 25 pounds have been lost um once I hit 155 pounds it's 25 pounds that I have shedded um that I don't want that I'm not trying to have I noticed the weight was in my belly I've always had bigger boobs um a rounder face but there is weight still being carried in my round face and there is weight in my um belly boobs obviously as you get smaller those things also kind of slim down but my biggest thing that I want to lose is in my belly I still grow my glutes you guys know I'm big on my stallion legs are still stallions but I grow my glutes but in the process of growing glutes I'm still trying to cut um, so right now the focus is cutting getting my body back to a certain size cutting the excess fat 
and then I'm gonna bulk back up and I'm not gonna bulk up too much I'm, I am gonna you know focus on bulking at some point though so that's the goal for right now but for the rest of the year I literally will be rewrite rewriting my new weight loss goals today for the rest of the year I'm going to be rewriting my five-year ten-year plan and I'm going to be like literally self-caring today so today once I go to the store and I come back home your girl is literally going to be in the house like planning so that's what the goals are for the day um three and a half months is a lot to get a lot done you can make excuses or you can make adjustments it's up to you like I, I've always felt like if you don't like the narrative change it you know whatever it is you want you can have it might not come overnight and it might not come easy or it's not going to come easy because anything worth having doesn't come easy that's that's a one period so if you want the finer things in life you're gonna have to do what it takes no successful person wakes up in the morning and says hmm, I'm not gonna do what it takes to be successful I'm just gonna wait for it to fall on my lap every successful person that knows they want to be successful and that are going to be successful works really hard Denzel Washington says working really hard works he said you know don't confuse movement with progress he said you know his mother used to tell him because you can be running in motion you can be running in motion still not going anywhere or you can be running in place still not going anywhere so don't confuse movement with progress another thing he says you'll never see a u-haul behind a hearse so he's basically just saying that everything that you acquire in this world you can't take with you when you go on the ground so what you can do is you can build and leave a legacy you know don't chase the material things those are fleeting you know make sure that you make a lasting impression because all of us have an expiration date we might not know when our expiration date is but we all have one and life is so short your life could be literally everything today and tomorrow you'll be a whole different situation i'm not going to speak on the the situation on my channel but i am praying but just much like what i just said just happened to somebody's you know where one day you're fine and the next day you're in the hospital and your life is totally not the same either way you look at it whether it's for the good or for you know the bad but uh, it's going to be for the good you know the uh i feel like the um i feel like god's going to pull through for that scenario of those individuals or that individual but like i said i don't want to bring people's tea well not even tea but sensitive issues to my channel but just know that i'm praying um life can change in a blink of an eye y'all and it's kind of hard to be prepared because you don't change is inevitable but at the same time you can't really prepare for it you have to just do your best to be your best because god already got our story written out and that's that so yeah for the rest of the year your girl will be working on business goals weight loss goals skincare i'm looking at my skin right now and it's looking better i mean it's not a thousand percent where i want it but it's looking better and as long as you're progressing that's really all that matters slow progress is better than no progress so top of the charts for me my top three i would say weight loss um well it's so hard because i have so many different things as much as business is important, it's not my top, it's not my third thing. As much as business is important, it is not my first thing right now when it comes to the goals. My first thing is weight. And I just feel like when you are your most healthy self, you can thrive in your business industries. I'm not saying you can't thrive while not being healthy, but my health is on the top of the line right now. Because a dead man can't run a business nor can a sick man. So if you can't get your health, and you can't get your immunity and your weight and your all that stuff intact the way that it should be then you can count on at some point your business like not necessarily failing 
but crashing at some point because you just don't have the capacity to operate it because you're not healthy. So healthy doesn't mean being skinny. Healthy doesn't mean, because <clears throat> I tell y'all all the time, big bone, there's big bone people. There's really skinny people. There's medium sized people. Everybody weighs healthy different. Everybody wears healthy different. So it's not about necessarily what the scale number says. It's about your overall wellness. So top of the charts is my health right now. My fitness goals, all of that. The second thing is my lifestyle. I feel like if my lifestyle is literally balanced, it will allow for me to do the rest of the things. So if I can get this house clean, if I can work on business, if I can do X, Y, and Z, if I, I feel like cleaning my house is such a big thing when it comes to my lifestyle and my health or in my overall like mental because it's just like when you can thrive in a clean environment like you guys can see behind me like the food tray is literally right there because I was having my cucumbers and then the laptop is on the couch like I still need to clean up but literally when you clean your environment you'll start to notice that things will feel and look a little better in your life as well um and then my third thing is like my businesses and my um, goals. Once, you know, like I get to my weight loss goals and once, you know, I get to my skincare goals and things like that, which skincare I'm putting in lifestyle, I feel like the business aspect and my personal like goals for business will become like my number one priority. And we're not bringing religion into this and in these numbers. This is just specifically about goals. Once I hit my weight loss goals and my skincare goals, I'm not going to necessarily eliminate them from being further goals, but they're no longer going to be the top two tiers. You know what I mean? It'll then be business way up there because I've already gotten health and lifestyle together. And at that point, I'm just maintaining. So figure out what your, what your success chart is going to be. You know, like how, or your success chain. You know, in school, how they talk about the food chain, the prey, the predator, like all the different ones making its way down from this, you know, to this. Figure out what your success chain is. Figure out what you need to do to be successful on, you know what I mean, that chart. So I am literally writing out my goals every day. I write simulations and models and things like that, uh, scenarios of my goals. Figure out what works for you. Some strategies other people use, it may work for you, it may not. But figure out what works for you and do it. <laughs> you got one life to live. So do you want to live with regrets or do you want to live with like knowing that you did everything that you set out to do? You only fail when you stop trying. So what's the excuses? I'm not listening. Right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to let you guys know what the plan is for the plan the plan for the plan it stopped raining and the sun is a little bit out so i think that's my i think that's my token to go remember i was supposed to go to the store but i got caught up making videos yeah the sun is out so i need to go now so i'll see you on the next video it's only 11 something